Hello. Hi, is this Miriam? Yes, ma'am. This is Murphy with the Arizona Secretary of State's office. Hi, Murphy. Is it possible uh -huh. to ask you a couple of things on record? Sure, for what? For an article that I am writing. For whom? Does it really matter in these times when the mainstream media is so corrupt? I work for God and I work for truth. Okay, sounds good. Okay, thank you. Um, so, uh, but the reason I ask is just so that I could. I mean, I I, 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 I can public. sure. Um, yeah. This would be arguably for activist post. I also write for Patrick Soapbox, but I mean, I've just had my YouTube channel deleted. I've been in the mainstream media and a journalist for 25 years. I'm the director of a film called Vanishing of the Bees. That's a well-known documentary about the global disappearance of honeybees. And um, uh, right now I'm, I'm considering going to Arizona um, and I'm just trying to wrap my head around a couple of things that I've read in regards to Arizona. And uh, okay, thank you. So may you, may you tell me, um, who, who you are and because there's two different departments I've reached out to. There's the recorder and elections department of Maricopa and then there's the state of, Ca of Arizona. Um, sure. I'm with the, I'm with the secretary of state's office and I'm the communication director. Okay. Awesome. And what is your role in regards to the elections compared to the, um, recorder, which I believe is more involved in the ballot counting? So, are you talking about the SOS in general? Yes. Perfect. So, um, I have a, a, an analogy that I like to use. Um, basically, the SOS office is like the NFL. Okay. And the county election department and county recorder's office are like the teams. So, basically, um, the counties, the county recorder's office and the election departments are the ones who ad directly administer the elections. The Secretary of State's office sort of um, oversees the administration of those elections and helps to set the guidelines that the, uh, that the counties found. So we um, are the, um, the, the agency that creates the elections procedures manual, which uh, helps provide the, the guidelines for conducting elections. Okay, got it. So I liken it to... We're the NFL and the counties are the teams, right? So the counties get to decide everything um, about how how they administer their jobs, how they do their jobs, and we sort of help them um, by providing guidance on the rules of the game, right? Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, it makes sense. Thank you. And, uh, sure. So in regards to, I understand Maricopa County is the biggest county in Arizona? Correct. Um, and there was some discussions regarding Sharpies being used and then bleeding through and kind of ruining the, the ballots. I, is there any way to speak about that? Well, they weren't ruining the ballot. Okay. Right. So um, Maricopa County uses a ballot file uh, where the... Um, they make sure that, and, and the counties, you should really speak to the counties about this. I don't yeah. want to, I don't okay. want to overstep on their territory, okay. but I can tell you my understanding of, of, sure. of the situation, if that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have the utmost respect for the county. They're doing an incredible job under some really, really, really difficult circumstances. So um, I think uh, what you're referring to are the, um, the use of Sharpies at polling place or loca voting location. Yeah. Um, and and um, so in, in Maricopa County, they recently changed the ballot style there. Okay. So the ballot that they use now, um, if you look at them, the races don't, if you've got a ballot that's front and back, they don't line up. Okay. So even if you mark, um, if you use a Sharpie and you mark it, um, you mark on one side of the ballot, and it, it even if it does bleed through to the other it doesn't interrupt the tabulation of that ballot, or it doesn't cause any damage to the ballot because it's the races on the other side of the ballot are still legible. Okay, so if then there are reports stating that centers rejected the ballot because of what they call overvotes, 
and stating that the ink from the Sharpie leaked onto the backside, is that incorrect? That would be incorrect. Um, if there was a case where a tabulator could not first, I should also back up and say that um, the, the reason why they were using Sharpies is because the manufacturing, because they, the, the ink dries very quickly, yeah. which makes it easier for the tabulators to read. Okay. Okay. And so, and all of this stuff, remember how I said, like, each county gets to, like, decide how they, you know, how they manage their team. Yeah. So all the counties in Arizona, you know, they don't all use the same material. They don't all use the same tabulators. They don't all use the same ballots. So what might be an issue in one place is not an issue in another. And in Maricopa County, using a Sharpie is not an issue. In another county, if the ballot style is different and let's say it bleeds through and it does create a straight mark, we have adjudication and duplication boards that uh, are comprised of people who are from differing parties. It's their job to review ballots that aren't able to be read by the tabulator okay. and make a determination about what the voter intent was so that so that, that vote can be counted. So there are all of these things in place to make sure that any ballots that um, – are deemed illegible by, like, that the tabulators can't read themselves, um, will be, will be counted in another way. Okay. All right. So, I mean, I have, I was on hold with Maricopa and I'll, I'll let them answer there, but, you know, a well-known, I read a report from, from a well-known reporter that was stating that there was, that there was issue with overvotes, um, so if overseeing all of Arizona, what is the status of recounts? And if you can also explain this year because of the Rona, what was in Arizona the percentage of mail-in voting versus, if you know that, versus going in person? Yeah. Sure. Um, I'll start with the mail-in voting one because um, obviously that's a number that is going to uh, – we don't have the final number on yet. Okay. For, because, for the state. For the state, right. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I can tell you that in the primary election, 88% of the votes cast were early ballots. And, the and we expect – Sorry, the primary, the primary was, was when again? It was like a month and a uh, half ago? Yeah. Okay. August? Yeah. Yeah. Pass the so 88% of the, the votes that were cast in the primary were cast early. Um, the And we expect that trend to hold true. Um, we expected a historic turnout. By the time, by, by the weekend before the election, we had more, we had 2.6 million early ballots already turned in. And that was the total participation in the 2016 um, election. Wow. Okay, so 2.6 yeah. million mail-ins. What is the population of Arizona? I think it's nine. But, but you wouldn't want the population. You would want the total number of registered voters. Okay, yes, correct. Sorry. Right? Thanks. Yeah. And that, there are four point, roughly an estimated, an estimated 4.7 million voters in Arizona. So it'd be fair to say maybe like 60% were mail-in? I mean, I think it'll be higher. Okay. Because I think, I th well, maybe, because I think to get the percentage, what you have to look at is total participation. And then you have to see how many of those people participated by mail-in ballot. Right? Because just because you're a registered voter doesn't necessarily mean you're going to participate in the election. Okay. Because right. we never have a 100% turnout. So is the recount only in Maricopa? There's no recount. Okay. I thought that they were holding... That I'm aware of. I, I we thought... We haven't... Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, we haven't finished the initial count, so there's oh, not it. a recount. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they're holding a rally tomorrow at 10 at the Maricopa County Tabulation and Election Office. Um, yeah, I'm actually really confused by those rallies because what they're what they're asking for is for every ballot to be counted, and the, the offices that, that that's what they're doing. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I think there might just be some miscommunication, you know. 
meaning there, there is no recount because the initial count hasn't happened. Right. It's not complete. So you can't have a recount until your initial count is complete. Okay. And, and a re the recount um, is triggered, the margin for a recount is triggered, um, it's set in statute, and that is either 200 votes or one-tenth of one percent of the votes cast in a race. So it's a very, very, very specific statute that would trigger, statutory requirement that would trigger a recount. Okay. Okay. Um, so why why is there hoopla about about um, Maricopa then? That's a question I am the law. I don't I don't know. <laughs> okay, I, I am confused by that as well. Okay, is there anyone from your um, from your department that that might know? No, I mean I think I think that the question that you're asking probably needs to be asked of the folks who are um, who are organizing the protests, right? Like, I, I'm not sure that, it, that that's our place to, I can't speak for them. But one of the things that I think might be, um, you know, sort of a positive way of looking at this is that people are really, really invested in making sure that their voices are heard. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and so, you know, from that perspective, this kind of civic engagement um, is an indication of people's desire to ensure uh, that they're, you know, able to participate. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I just think people are being told that there's something, that there's there's some type of um, of fraud going with the election and... and Arguably, hasn't um, ha hasn't um, Maricopa been Republican? Uh, I think that you're asking if the the voter makeup of Maricopa County is typically for the past several years the the, the voter registration makeup in the state has been roughly. And I'm speaking in, in broad stroke estimates, a third Republican, a third Democrat, and a third independent. Okay. Is that still yeah. the case? Yeah, that's the case right now, roughly. So no, no one would be able to tell what is the situation with um, with Maricopa. It's be it's best to to ask um, it's best to ask the, the county itself. When you say the situation, yeah, I think so because I'm not sure what you mean by the situation. Well, I I was I was told that um, well, there's a rally that there's I'm reading okay. reports that there's issue with um, this Sharpie situation, and uh, but yet um, I, others others uh, are, are saying otherwise. Uh, other yeah. Um, I mean. I think if you're if you're interested in the perspective of why the group that's holding the rally is holding the rally, you would have to ask. Sure, them. sure, sure. Yeah. Oh. Um, but yeah, from from our perspective, we're laser focused on making sure that the counties have what they need to complete the vote count accurately and in a transparent manner. Okay. So from your perspective or from when you're hearing there is no issue in Arizona, what's the big deal? Why is the, the, the news or, or from your perspective controversial? I think, I think that there has been some misinformation okay. um, that has been spread about uh, the use of Sharpies. And, and I think that has probably caused some some higher tensions and some concerns. But our office is doing everything possible to make sure that people have access to um, accurate and timely information. We've done a series of infographics about the, um, the situation with the Sharpies. Um, Where can I find that? Oh, sure, sure. Um, you can go to our, it's on all of our social media. Okay. Um, at AZ Secretary Hobbs. Okay, one second. Let, let me do that. Because I, I've also heard 
um, Arizona is really corrupt. There's usually is no need oh, for the lower level ballot stuffing and tricks like that. Uh, they usually. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I spent two years working in the county. I, and now I'm working at the secretary of state's office. I, I, it makes me, my heart sad to hear that because I know how hard the people in those positions are working. And I know how hard I'm working um, to make sure that this is a, um, you know, a, an accurate okay. election. Okay. So, okay. So now. Okay. And then let me look for the. Uh, Oh, so I so see. What if I was given a Sharpie to mark my ballot? Yeah. Okay. So I think I think it's fair to say that people are concerned, and that's an indication that they care about having their voices heard, right? And that we are doing everything we can to provide accurate information to help assuage those concerns. Okay. And I think for some folks. They're just gonna have to. They're just gonna have to see it for themselves, and that's okay. Basically, all of this Sharpie, um, Sharpie gate is all misinformation. Yes. Um, all right. And then when would you assume or sorry, when, when would you expect that the votes are in? Because this is not like a usual year. I mean, oh. yeah. Yeah. So we have statute that requires um, the counties to have the elections tabulated and certified within 20 days and then the state has 30 days um, to certify the statewide results so we're still absolutely on track to to be done before statute requires okay and I mean we're in good shape okay um, I mean arguably for those of us who've been reporting on the coronavirus, um, it's not been, it's less fatal than the flu, and there's been a lot of fear, and this mail-in voting fer fervency ha has been in motion since as early as April and May, so many of us are like, well, if you can riot, why can't you show up? Sure, if you're an older population, um, but, but still, so to even have all this like push for mail-in voting uh, has been suspect and there's been millions and millions of dollars issued to support mail-in voting. So I can, I can provide a little background about Arizona okay. that might, that might help provide context um, around that. Okay. So in Arizona, we have always had, not always, but we have for a very, very, very long, for decades, have had a very robust vote by mail um, system in this state. Okay. And part of that is because in 2007, the Republican legislature passed a law that created the permanent early voting list, whereby uh, an eligible voter can uh, sign up for the list and once they've joined the list, they will automatically be mailed a ballot for any election that they are eligible to participate in. Okay. So we, we have had um, really strong early voting participation for a really long time here. So I think, I think uh, it is not, it is not, I it just, it's not that atypical for people to vote by mail in Arizona. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and there was definitely a push to encourage folks to consider it as an option, um, especially uh, when we were first learning about coronavirus, mm -hmm. um, because it, it does seem to provide a safe alternative 
for people who might have concerns. And one of the biggest concerns that I have is that people would be, um, uh, you know, scared for their health and then decide not to participate. And I would much rather them vote an early ballot than decide not to participate. Yeah, uh, sure. Um, so at this moment, is there a rough count? Yeah, we, we've got an interactive uh, results page on our website, Arizona.vote. Okay, let me go to that. And so um, you just click on the results tab and you'll see, uh, you'll see some information about how the ballots that have been tabulated thus far. Okay, so, so I'm, I'm, on, I'm on, on, sorry, I'm on um, Arizona.vote mm -hmm. uh, results. I would assume mm -hmm. How many uh, ballots are you counting a day? Oh, that varies by county to county. Okay. Yeah, because we don't do the tabulation here. It, that's done at the county level. Okay, and then is there, I had not heard before, I'm originally from Canada and, and new to politics or covering politics. So um, is there voter observance? Yep, absolutely. In fact, on our website, you can, there's a tab that will allow you to uh, link into all of the, um, all of the video surveillance of the tabulation centers. Every county has video surveillance of their tabulation process. There are also politically appointed, there are also political observers that are appointed by members of each recognized political party in the state. Um, and then there are, you know, um, sort of, uh, they're not they're not official observers, but there's definitely a large presence of citizen observers who have decided to, to you know, help make sure that the process is. Okay. Um, um, it's not yep, like they're, we, they're from far away. They're they're six feet. They're, I guess they're social distancing. Well, the credential observers are allowed to be within the facility, yeah. But you have to have you have to go through a credentialing process. It's not um, uh, it's not it's not like ten people who haven't who, who aren't credentialed can't show up and and demand to be you know, allowed into the tabulation room. Got it. Yeah. But they can watch. <laughs> sure. They, okay. Yeah. Um, so this, and how often is this site that I'm looking at um, updated? Once a day? Twice a day? Which site? Sorry, the Arizona.vote. Oh, the results? Those yeah. will be updated as we get results from the counties, and those come in periodically. There's no set schedule. Okay, so periodically it could be more than once a day. Yep. Um, do you have any idea how many you have left to, to count? We have a very, very rough estimate. Um, we think it's right around 450,000 ballots left to count. 450,000? Mm-hmm. Okay. Am I am I overlooking anything as far as things to, to note about this election? Just that we've had historic turnout, and that's that is definitely something to be proud of. For for this year, I mean. Yeah. Um, meaning that includes mail in, just basically more yeah. people voting. Yeah. Okay, that's that's good to note. Uh, so then, if there is a press conference today or Maricopa, I'll just re reach out to them? Yeah, we're, we're not planning any press conferences from the Secretary of State's office. I'm not sure what Maricopa is planning. Um, but yeah, I, you know, their, their public information officers are super nice ladies who are working real hard right now. So um, I, I would have no qualms about encouraging you to reach out to them. They're lovely. And that is that is the, um, I think, that the people I was on hold with, which is the uh, Recorder and Elections Department yep. in Maricopa? Correct. Is there anyone you recommend I ask for? Um, I would just 
do exactly what you did here is ask to speak with the media contact. Okay. All right. Thank you for your time. And, and if I have any other questions, I'll, uh, I'll call back. Sure thing. I look forward to reading the piece. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Appreciate it. You Thank too. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Of the new votes that were just reported out, Donald Trump won 43,966 of them. Joe Biden won 30,322 of them. Donald Trump is getting around 59% oh of these votes. That's crazy. Now, yeah, so that is, <clears throat> remember the three buckets here. Yeah. The first bucket was the early. Biden won it by 10. The second bucket was the same day. Trump won it by 26. The third bucket, you're looking at the start of that. Now, there's, this is not all of it. What we just got here again, about 75,000 votes. Remember, they said there's about 400,000 and change to come out of Maricopa County. So we got 75,000 of 400,000 plus out of Maricopa County. This pace of 59% for Trump, it might change as more ballots are added into here. So let's see. But this at least establishes, I think, up front the possibility here that this third bucket of votes is a Trump favorable bucket of votes. This is Diana. Hi, Diana. This is uh, Miriam Hinane. I was told to call you in regards to questions I have about Maricopa. Um, so I am the spokesperson for the Maricopa County Recorder's Office. Okay. Um, and the Elections Department has Megan Gilbertson, the communications director, and Adam Flores, the deputy director of communications. Um, but uh, if you just let me know your questions, I can see how I can help. Sure, thank you. Um, this is, I'm an independent journalist. So, I mean, I don't know where this will go. I used to be with the mainstream and uh, I, I'm neutral. Well, I'm a conservative, but I, I'm neutral in like I, I just want the truth so can I can I record the call uh, what are your questions okay so one I, I'm trying to understand wh whether there's an announcement today on um, what what the count is there seems to have been issue with this uh, sharpie i'm getting um conflicting information so i'm trying to set the record straight based on some reports that i've read um i'm also trying to get a sense of what the count is or or where we're at i think there's a rally tomorrow at 10 a.m i'm currently in um uh, i'm currently in um miami and uh I, I've also um, reporting on on the Attorney General of Arizona, who stated that there's been tons of complaints. So I just have okay. some general qu questions. Um, okay. Well, yes, I would relay you over to um, Erica Flores, who um, is the Deputy Director of the Elections Department. But I can let you know that they are going to announce the next set of election results at 7 p.m. And there's about 275,000 ballots that need to be processed. Okay, hold, hold on. Um, just to clarify, when I, I was speaking to the secretary, and there's a little background noise on your end, so I, I didn't okay. hear that properly, but I'll just repeat what I heard. Um, when I was speaking to the secretary of state, they said that there's still 450,000 um, to share, to, to count. Is there any way to so, be a little more quiet so I can hear you? Um, so there's 275,000 left to be processed in Maricopa County. Okay. The Secretary of State would be yeah. talking about the state cool. right numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, okay. So then there's a re there's an announcement today at seven. Who's, who's hosting that? Is it a press conference? No. Uh, you can check results.maricopa.vo at seven o'clock daily until every verified ballot is counted. And it's results. So say that again, please. Results. Yeah. Dot Maricopa. Yeah. Dot. Dot vote. Okay. And so, what 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 is this deal with the um, sharpies? And and um, yeah. So you can go. Um, the Maricopa County Elections Department did post a video on 
the um, use of Sharpies. They have we, like Phil the Ballet, um, who's our um, what is it? Our mascot for the recorder's office. Okay. Hey everyone, it's Phil the Ballet here. Did you know you can use a black or blue pen or Sharpie to fill out your ballot in Maricopa County? The new tabulation equipment only reads the ovals, so bleed-throughs are not a problem. The new ballot style also has off-centered columns that don't allow for bleed-throughs to fill out ovals on the other side of the ballot. At the vote center, you may notice fine tip Sharpies are used. That's because it's the fastest drying ink and works best on the tabulation equipment. If you're filling out your ballot at home, you can use blue or black ink with ballpoint pen or Sharpie. Just don't use red ink. The tabulation equipment cannot read red. Learn more at BeBalletReady.Vote. See you there. And the Maricopa County, um, we upgraded our equipment in 2019, piloted it in the fall, and we started using it in 2020 to process um, and count our ballots and it came with a new ballot style um, which changed from arrows to ovals and so you can fill in the oval and the best type of pen to use it use to fill it in is actually a sharpie it's fast drying and it can go through the tabulation equipment and if there's any kind of bleed through the ballot style is designed so that if there is bleed through it will not impact the vote okay so would you agree that anything stating that there is um shenanigans with the marquee uh, the the sharpies are is is misinformation uh, yes, it is disinformation. The ballot tabulation equipment is designed to, um, if you mark it with a Sharpie yeah. um, and there is bleed through, it does not impact the vote. Okay. All right. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.